Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, we are continuing this sing tutorial series. I don't know how further we'll go from this. It's up to you guys. But the second, the third person that I wanted to go ahead and draw today was Rosita. So let's go ahead and draw Rosita from Sing, which is by Illumination, who has made Minions and Despicable Me. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go close to the top of my page and I want to go ahead and draw this circle. There's always a part where you have to draw a circle. But you see how I'm kind of rounding this side and this side just a little bit. Coming outwards over here and bringing this down as well. Next what I'd like to do is go ahead and draw that eye line all the way close to the top of her head. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide the middle down to where we her nose would go. So after that, what I want to do is her eyes are very far apart for some reason. Probably because she's a pig, but I'm going to put one eye here and then one eye right here. So they're not as close as Buster's and Johnny's are. So I'll go ahead and draw those two eyes and then what I'd like to do is jump down just a little bit down here and go ahead and draw her nose which is a roundish oval looking and then after that what I'd like to do is go down right here and kind of give her that really shy smile she has so just kind of bring it up just to the side and over here it's kind of down go ahead and give her a dimple here and a dimple here so let's go ahead and shape up her eyes just a little bit more they are this wide but what I'd like to do is I'd like to jump up and curve them upwards and then curve upwards right here so no I'm sorry we're curving downwards here and upwards right here and then we jump over here and do the same thing curve downwards keep that same shape Okay, so we want to draw one pupil iris area there, and then one right here as well. Make sure her eyes are nice and curved around the edges and corners. And then I want to go ahead and give a shine and shine in the pupil and a pupil. And we can see her green. And then for her eyelashes, they're just flooring outwards here and flooring outwards here. What you can do is darken that upper eyelash line because she has really thick eyelashes on top but not really at the bottom. After that, you're going to go ahead and give her one little faintish looking eyebrow up here. It's not really seen that well. I kind of want to give a little eyebrow here that's slanted off to the side just because she looks like she's just she's very shy at first so we want to put one here and put one here and then what you can do is jump in the middle of her snout one snout there one nostril there and one nostril here and of course what you'd like to do since we are keeping this overall shape of her head at the top right here what you're going to do is you're going to bring up one ear we're just going to kind of make it a little bit boxy for right now. So we make this boxy. And then what you're going to do is you're going to jump inside that. Bring this down and up. So if you get rid of this guideline. You see one pig ear, and then we'll jump over here once again. We're gonna start very boxy. And then we're gonna jump off to the side. We're gonna, wait, we're gonna jump inside her ear. Bring this in, bring this out, bring it up and connect. And then you can go ahead and get rid of that line. And then you can go ahead and shade in the insides of her ears. Unlike Buster and Johnny, she's not a furry creature. I know pigs are furry in real life, if you look at them, but we're not gonna give her any fur on her 
face or anything like that today. What I like to do next is kind of bring down this side of her face and make out her cheek to go a little bit more this way. Then what I'd like to do is make a circle here. After that, you're going to draw a circle right here as well. And then what I'd like to do is I'm going to jump off to the side right here and round off this part and then come over here and then round off this part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. And then I'm going to go underneath my circle, round this up, and connect to that circle there. Then I'm going to jump down, bring this one up, and into this circle. And then I'm going to come up from the bottom right here. Bring this up and go into the circle as well. And then I'm going to jump underneath here. Make a collar to her shirt. We see one right there and we see the collar of her shirt right here. So that means her neck is there. For her hands, like we really don't see much of her hands, but and she only has three fingers. So we're just gonna start from right here. We're gonna go outwards, down, in, and back into her hand right here. And then we can kind of see one of her fingers from this arm right here. And then we're gonna jump on top and make that middle finger where we go up, down, and curve back inwards. And that's all we really see of that hand. And this one's just kind of folded in. We can, like we can see one finger here, but mostly it's being covered up by this hand. So that's all we really see. Now for this part, Rosita has a parish-like figure. So we're gonna go underneath her elbows, here and here, just kind of flirt it outwards. And so she has that pear-like quality shape to her. So then what I want to do is I'm going to jump down here. And this is the middle of her shirt. It goes outwards. Go up. And then back into her elbow. And then I'm going to jump off to the side right here, underneath just a little. We have this side of her shirt, goes downwards, up, and then connects. So we can get rid of this guideline and this one. But we want to keep the base of her the same. So what you're going to do is I'm going to jump down below from there. Bring down this side, and I'm going to jump over here, bring down this side, still from the circle, the pear shape that we originally made. Bring this down, go downwards, and then what I'm going to do from right here, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the middle of her legs, but she has a little bit of a gap in between her legs, so I'm going to go off to the side for this gap, and this gap, and I'm going to close off this one pant leg. And over here, I'm going to close off this one pant leg. And at the very bottom, I'm going to keep going downwards. Circle back up. Jump back over here. Circle back up. And then all you're going to do from the bottom, make a circle here. And make a circle here. Same length, make sure they're nice and even. And you want to make sure that they're relatively flat because what you're going to do curve that one and curve that one. And you just gave her her shoes. If you color that in, they're like flat. 
but you want to make sure you go around and you make sure that everything's just flowing together. So you can get rid of this guideline and this guideline. And if you want to, you can go around and give a couple of folds to her actual pants because pants aren't just like this. You can go around, make it, give it a couple of lumpy lines just because they're pants and they're folding into each other. It's clothes. Same with her shirt, since her arms are folded in to each other, what you want to do is you just want to kind of give it a couple of like, because her arms are pressed up against her shirt, so it's creating some folds. And of course you want to go ahead and make a button here, button here, button all the way down here because you can't button the last button and a button up here. Go around, just make sure those lines are nice and flowing into each other. And you wanna go ahead and give her her shirt a couple of folds as well. Jump over here, add a little bit of dimension. Shade this in, shade this in, get rid of the guidelines on her face. And there we go. There's how you draw Rosita from Sing. It's a cute, fun, easy way to draw Rosita. I think she's probably the easiest other than Buster Moon. But yes, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you all on Saturday with a fun art video. And have a wonderful day.